Yeah, you guys are, you guys are, no excuses, you're in this now. Yeah, do you mind tossing an extra ball over for me too, coach? What's going on, girls? How we doing? How uh, quick, just experience, how many of you have been playing for less than two years? Bunch of you guys. And then how many of you have been playing for more than five years? Anybody? So everyone's less than five years, close to five years maybe. Okay, and then we're all seventh, eighth grade, right? All right, all right, keep doing your thing. We'll start in like two minutes. Thank you. You're good. So we got nine. That's nine right there. Yep. And we can always use my son to make time. Okay. Worst case scenario. All right. Ella, when do you practice here? Do you practice here? Uh, like after. All right. All right, girls, let's bring it up. We'll get going here. 6.03. So uh, what time do we have till? Till 7. Then. Till 7. Okay, so we're going to make the most of this hour. I thought we had a little bit longer, so I'll have to readjust my timer, but that's all right. My, my hope is to play a lot today, always. When we practice, I always want to play. That's when you have the most fun. That's actually when you learn the most, and hopefully we'll get you not chilly. I know it's a little bit breezy right now, but um, we all... We that's right. So this is pretty dang good, right? So I'm Coach Martin. Um, I'm lucky to be here today. I'm really excited to work with you, and hopefully you'll take something from this that you can practice on your own. You'll, we'll definitely have some fun playing, but my, my real goal is that you can take things that will help you progress on your own into the future, okay? So to start, we're gonna simplify the catching drill that you guys have already been doing. All right, so I want you all to take your ball, drop your stick, all right? So it might seem like, all right, we're in seventh and eighth grade, we know how to catch, right? But catching's really hard, simplify it, and uh, we're gonna start just like this. So everyone match me, everyone in your strong hand, whichever hand you kind of write with, all right? In your strong hand, match this hand position. All right, let's bring the ball down low. And I want you to toss it and make sure that it spins. That's what I wanna see right now. I wanna see you kind of flick your wrist so the ball is, watch your ball. It should spin away from you. And now let's walk around as we do this. Don't trip on any sticks. Don't move your stick, just avoid them. Yep, walk backwards. Walk backwards as you do this. Continue to throw and toss. All right, shuffle to your left. Continue to toss as you kind of sidestep. Shuffle. Yep, stay low. Just try to stay on your toes for this shuffle. All right, shuffle to your right. Right, let's jog now. Let's actually kind of just jog around this big soccer circle. You don't have to go to the outside, just general circle. All right. Okay, switch hands. Switch hands. Same exact drill. You can slow it down to a walk if you'd like. Don't look at the sun. I know you all know that from the eclipse yesterday. All right, now kind of walk it in towards me as you keep tossing it, though. Keep tossing it. Get that ball to spin. We're all in our weak hand right now. So obviously a bit more awkward in the weak hand. Is that fair to say? Let's switch back to our strong hand. All right. Now I want to really emphasize the hand position that's going to help us in real lacrosse, which is this. So everyone try to match me here. So I'm looking at the elbow. I'm looking at the wrist, I'm looking at the thumb. You should be able to point your forefinger back, like kind of straight back behind you. All right, kind of relax that hand. All right, perfect, perfect. All right, so now here's the drill. We start down low, we toss, and we catch it in that position. All right, give me five tries. Yep, try to keep that elbow pointed forward, try not to let it flare out. Yep, I, he I don't want to hear the ball hits your hand. If you can, if it's loud, try to make it nice and soft, like you're catching an egg. Yep. All right. So just look at this for one sec. 
once we add the stick, not just yet, but once we add the stick, it'll be critical that we're able to catch and bring the ball kind of to our ear. That's where we're most protected, right? So I don't want to be like this and catch and leave it up here. And I don't want to be like this and reach for it and leave it out there. So as I catch it, bring it to the ear, okay? Go ahead, give me five more. Focused on soft hands and bringing it to the ear. Now walk around as you do it, okay? Toss, make sure you're stepping forward as you catch. Sometimes you step forward with your left foot. Sometimes you step forward with your right foot. I want you to try both. Yep. All right, good. I know we got nine, so coach, I might need you guys, or I might need uh, coaches, you can partner up. I might need you to partner up. What's your name, bud? Parker. Parker. I might need you to partner up with uh, the odd number. Brendan, sorry. <laughs> All right, so let me just do, I'll do an example with you, Brendan. So drop your stick. So girls, watch. Partner passing. All right, the key is, right, with this catch, that ball's coming down at us. But in lacrosse, it's going to come straight at us, right? So now we're going to play catch. Where's your ball? Okay, two ball, partner passing. So we're going to make eye contact when we are both kind of think we're ready. All right, the key is, you guys see where I'm catching this? is in this position. If the ball is too low, if you throw me a pass that's too low and I have to catch like this, make the adjustment to throw higher towards your partner, kind of lob it so that I can catch it in this position. All right, let's get one foot in front. I don't care which foot. All right, if it's always the left foot, switch to the right foot. Okay, that's your drill. So we're gonna be about three or four yards apart, really close to each other, two ball, partner passing. Ready, set, go. Don't go too far. Stay close, girls. Pick a lead foot. Okay, pick a lead foot. Don't be flat-footed. Doesn't matter which foot. Good. Yep, kind of like a lot. That's a great rep right there, you two. Okay, a little closer together. Hey, you got to put more on that, Brendan, because she's reaching like this to catch it. I want her to catch it up by her ear. Yes, coach. Yep, try to spin the ball. Okay, flick your wrist, get some spin on the ball. So you're throwing a knuckleball over here. Yup, not bad. When you throw, it's like leaving your palm. I want you to let it leave your fingers so it spins. Yes, better. Yup, flick your wrist. Okay, better. Turn the wrist over, girls. You push it and you flick the wrist. Gotta give your partner a good pass. All right, good. Everybody grab your stick. Grab your stick. All right, let's come close here. We're going to move pretty quickly, right? It's going to be a really fast hour. It's already 6.10, okay? So now we're going to translate one of the drills we did to have the stick in our hand. So everybody match me. One hand. Okay, the butt end of the stick should be pointed straight back. All right. And let's get that hand pretty close to the to the top of the stick. Yeah, it's all kind of on the side of us. Yep, yep. All right, nice and relaxed, everyone relax. Okay, from this position, we need to be able to go like this and transition to this position. So everybody match me here. Yep, go ahead, good. It's okay if it's a little bit awkward. All right, and then bring it back down. All right, let the stick turn inside your hand. Don't grip it too tight. And back down. All right, good. That's key. Doesn't look like anyone's doing this wrong, but just make sure you understand you never want to turn your stick away from you. For me, that's, I want to make sure it looks at me on the way up and at me on the way down. Okay, great. All right, so now it starts low. Just watch me and then, and then try it yourself after. I'm going to toss it as it's in the air. I'm switching to this position and I'm catching it with the butt end pointed forward. All right, so I toss, and then I'm gonna step with my right foot. On the next rep, I'll step with my left foot. All right, go ahead, just in place where you are now. Yep, give yourself a little bit of height. So toss that ball a bit higher than you. Good, good. After you catch it, I want you to kind of pause. Don't be in such a rush to cradle back down. Okay, this position here is the most important position. Okay, pause there. So I want you to notice the hand is in front of you. So take a big step with your left foot. 
Yep, and then let the stick kind of come back a little bit. Okay. So that should feel a little bit different. I don't want you to reach too far in front. Yeah, I almost want you to, I want the ball almost behind your ear a little bit when it hits your stick. Yes, yes, much better, much better. All right, now do this as we walk, okay? So let's just continue to walk from rep to rep, toss to catch. Yep, yep. So coach, make sure you're coming down with it. So I'm seeing this hit your stick and it kind of stays here to the distance between the ear and the, and the hand. You wanna make sure that that comes down. Yep, yep. Nicely done, girls. Nicely done. All right, now jog. Now let's jog as we do this. Good. I don't care if you drop it. Just keep trying. Give me at least 10 more tries. Don't care if you drop it. Just get that next rep. If you drop it, scoop it one-handed for me. Keep that hand where it is. Yep. So hold up. One adjustment for you is... Actually, girls, just listen for this coaching cue. We want to make sure, right, that catching is separate from cradling, okay? So I want to try to avoid this catch if I can. So as you're moving, try to take a couple steps in this position after you catch. So toss, catch, take a couple steps here, then reset. All right, ready, go. Yes, there you go, there you go. The butt end pointed forward is the most important position. Nicely done. Yep. Nicely done. Okay, girls, we're gonna partner back up. All right, where's my, where, give, me, uh, give me a partner here, ready? We got another one. Okay. So let's just say I'll just just for the sake of the drill, two. It's the same drill. Two ball partner passing. We're still one-handed. Okay, nice and easy. Nice and easy. I don't care if we drop this every time, but I promise you, you'll start to figure this out. Make sure you aim high. So I want this to kind of lob up. We make eye contact and we both toss it around the same time. So you got to put a little more juice on that, right? Before you're worried about your catch. Give your partner the best throw that you can. All right, so toss it up top. So I'm trying to catch without cradling. I'm just receiving the ball, coming back. Give me a little more juice, a little more juice. Throw it higher. I'm not scared of it. Yep, a little more juice. All right, give it a go, give it a go. Don't go too far, girls. Stay close, stay here, stay here. Don't go too far. It's all one-handed. If you drop it, scoop it one-handed. Good. Girls, it's critical that you throw hard. You don't want to lob it to the ground. You got to put some juice on it. Yep, you can do a three count if you want. Hey, make sure you pick a lead leg. So make sure you pick a lead leg. It's key because I see you kind of almost like squatting up. I want to see you, so pick a lead leg, I don't care which one it is, I want to see you transfer weight. So back foot to front foot as you throw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay low. Yep. Good, stay with it. When you throw, so wind up, the head of your stick should come like this. I want you to turn that wrist. Right now you're kind of stopping it like, like this. Try to turn that wrist over. Oh. Oh. Nice scoop. Here we go, girls. Here we go. Yes. Some of you guys starting to figure this out. Good. Hey, girls, back away from each other a little bit. I think we're a little too close. You got to throw it hard. Pick a lead foot. Pick a lead foot. Yep. Yep. So the key for you and then several of the other girls too, make sure you're coaching this up, is the head of your stick yep. 
So keep your hand on it. It's kind of like stopping. Oh, okay. So keep your hand on it there. Boom. And it's almost like it's still at this angle. So okay. it's like this. You got to make sure that the wrist turns over. Okay. So I want to make sure that that motion happens. Okay. Much better. Much better. Yep, this is a wrist strengthening exercise. Turn the wrist over. Push and snap the wrist. Okay, two hands, go. Same drill, two hands, go. Oh, it's not so bad. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Coach, where are those cones at? Uh, in the bag. In the blue bag? Yep. Oh! She almost hit ya. Okay, one ball! Partner passing with one ball! Right into it! Strong hand! You can cradle once you have it, yep, if you want. One little cradle and then get it out. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty seconds. It definitely got darker. Um, my nice. <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right, pause one sec. You, this looks really good for you. Just one adjustment for you is that when you're asking for it, bring your stick in front a little bit more. It's just it's just the wrist angle. So instead of asking for it like this, just slightly more like this. That way you can come back with it. Okay. Yep. Yep. All right. Okay, girls, let's get three lines behind those three cones. Jog it, jog it. Bring your ball with you. Okay, so we should have a backup ball or two or three in line. Three lines, girls, three lines. Yep. All right, no more than four to a line. Okay, first girl in line should have a ball. Everyone else, just drop it by your feet. So those are your backup balls. If you throw a ball away, just grab the next one so we can keep the drill going. First girl in line, are you ready? First girl in line, run to the cone in front of you. Go. Okay. Turn around the cone. As you're on your, just let's walk for this rep. Walk with me. As you're on the way back, in between this blue and yellow, drop the ball. Yep. So you're not rolling it at the next person and then run to the back of the line. Next girl, scoop through that ground ball. Get around the cone. Leave it for the next girl. Let's go, let's go. Rapid fire now. Don't roll it at her. Do not roll it at her. Leave it on the line. Yep. Very rarely will a ball just roll at you. 
Here we go, we're practicing our scooping here. Scoop through, scoop through. Good. I want to see some cradling. As you run, I want to see you cradle. Where are we at? Good. Don't roll it out then. Leave it on the ground. Good. Try to cradle with your stick vertical. Yes, coach. Yes, coach. I love the effort. See you, Marie. Yep. This is why I don't run. It was a shameless mistake. It happens. <laughs> you got to be able to run while you're laughing. Okay, now when you get to the cone, throw it to the next girl in line. Go. Run, run, run. Get a backup ball. Just get another ball. Get another ball. Keep the drill moving. Good job. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Make sure the very first thing before you throw a pass is that you make eye contact. Okay? Make eye contact. Especially when you guys play. I know we had a game, right? When we have a game on uh, Sunday? Yeah. When there's an opponent on the field, it's that much more important. If we think someone's over there and we just chuck it, it's not going to go well as many times as making eye contact, then throwing it, okay? So that's part of this drill, is making eye contact. Ready, go. Good, aim high. Nice catch. Uh -huh. Yep, aim high, aim high. Make the adjustment. Good. Couple more here, girls, couple more. There you go. Can we get you a better ball? That thing looks greasy. Here, take this one. Nice throw. Pay attention in line. Girls, pay attention in line. You got to back that up. All right. Good job. Last one. Two pass GBs. So you're gonna pass it. Yep, pass it. She's gonna pass it right back, and then you're gonna leave it on the ground like before. Right forward. Uh, in the in the middle. Yep. So now you scoop it. Two pass GBs. Here we go. Scoop, pass, pass back. Back her up. Girls in line. You gotta be ready. Here we go, here we go. And then leave it Have that top hand a little lower for throwing. <laughs> hey, we're having fun. That's all that matters. We're laughing. I should fall more often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really lighten the mood of the whole practice, coach. <laughs> hey, stop being in such a good mood. Get another ball. Come on, come on. Keep the drill moving. There we go. One more minute of this. One more minute. Good. 
Hey, just hold up. We just got to make sure that we take the skill we started with, which was what? Catching. Catching. I know it's not easy, okay? I understand it's not easy. I don't care if we don't catch everything. I do care that we're attempting to catch the right way. So what I'm seeing is I'm seeing kind of our bad habits kind of creep back up now that we're two-handed a little bit. All right. Who, who can play catch with me real quick? Can play catch with me real quick? So what I see is, as the ball comes at me, stay with me, girls. As the ball comes at me, watch the stick. I'm seeing this. Do you see how it goes sideways? Okay, that's not gonna uh, help me progress as quickly as trying to keep my stick vertical. So that's the key, is that when that ball comes at me, I gotta come back. Now, this becomes challenging if you throw it down by my knees. Yes, I kinda have to catch like that, okay? That's, that's the exception. But let's aim up so that we can practice catching properly all right, with that stick in a vertical line as best we can. All right, ready, set, go. Use your footwork to help you out. Good. There you go. Yep, there you go. Two pass GBs. Here we go. Let's find the rhythm. Here you go. Here you go. There you go. All right, great job. Let's condense this to two lines. So I'm going to take this middle line, pick a line. Coaches, you're kicked out. I need you, though. I need you, though. All right. So, Coach, I'm going to have you stand in front of that cone. Coach, I'm going to have you stand like kind of facing the line, basically. Like defender-wise? Essentially, yep. All right, first girl in line with a ball. Go to the top cone. All right, a little bit closer, coach. A little bit closer, coach. Okay, so girls, do we know what a V cut is? Have we ever heard of a V cut? All right, so if we're gonna V cut, some of you have heard of this. If we V cut to the right, which way do we cut first? What's that? To the left, okay. So coach is a little bit closer, like awkward, like about a stick's distance. All right, yep. And you're just standing there kind of in a defensive stance. So it's really important that we practice trying to beat a defender, even if we don't have the ball. All right, so all we're gonna do, you see this cone to your right? That's where you're gonna end up going. You see that cone to your right? That's where you're gonna end up going. But I want you to fake to the left, then cut to the right, and then attempt to catch the ball. Okay? So you're going to throw it to her when she gets there, as she gets there. You're going to throw it to her as she gets to that cone. Let's just do one at a time. Ready? Okay, now for, uh, pause here. Pause here. So did you catch that? Get her a ball. Yep. All right. After you throw your feed, you two, jog to the back of the line. After you make your catch, jog to the feeding cone. Next girl goes. Here we go, rapid fire now. V cut. Yup, you don't have to pretend to have a ball on your stick. Just try to beat her. Fake to the left, good. Good, throw it a little earlier, girls. You don't want them waiting at the cone for you. Throw it earlier. Yep, there we go. There we go. V cut, V cut. Cut hard. Good. Stay, just grab the next one. Yep. There we go. Cut hard, girls. Cut hard. Hey, we just got to get the timing down. Hold up, hold up. Just, yeah, just pause. I want you to hurry. And I want you to make sure she's ready. Yep. Yep. 
I don't want anyone waiting at the cone for the ball. Yep. Yep. There we go. Find a rhythm. Find a rhythm. Good. Get used to trying to beat somebody. Get used to trying to beat somebody. Yep. Hustle, hustle, hustle. As soon as she's close, go. Yep. There you go. Girls that are carrying, don't be blind to what's behind you. You can look back a little bit. There you go. All right, good. Hey, let's just switch the cone to the other side. Coach, want to help me out there? Same thing to the other side. Girls, you do not have to switch to your left hand. Okay, you can stay, you can stay in your strong hand. You're going to fake to the right and then cut to the left. Ready, go. You don't have to switch. You do not have to switch right now. I just want to see the footwork. Cut hard. That's what matters. Cut hard. Have her back up. Have her back up ready. Good. Good. Yep, get your balance first, okay? It's more important that you balance. Good. All right. Great job, girls. Great job. So we're going to come back to this. Leave these cones. Can I get everybody on this yellow line? Everybody on this yellow line. No ball. Leave the balls kind of back behind us. Spread out a little bit. Spread out, spread out. Okay, let me see your defensive stance. That needs to mean something. Defensive stance. Is going to mean athletic, we're sitting low, we're bending our knees. Let's not pick a front foot right now. Let's just be both toes on the yellow. All right, good. Defensive stance looks good. When I blow this whistle, I want you to approach. Okay, that's a word we need to know. Approach. That means we're going to step out to the ball carrier. Does that make sense? And then we're going to break down into our what? Defensive stance. So just from the yellow to the blue, when I blow the whistle, you're going to approach and break down. Ready? And hold it. You got to be balanced. You got to be balanced a little bit uh, closer together. Girls, when you're in your defensive stance, be ready. You might get ran into a little bit. Are you balanced? Okay, you got to be balanced in this position. Yep. All right, on the whistle, you're going to back pedal back to the yellow. Great job. Great job. So, girls, we're going to keep this simple. All right. This is what's called a square stance. All right, I'm not trying to force them to go one way or the other. I'm just kind of playing this straight up. On the first whistle, Approach and break down on the second whistle, back pedal back. Good, good. Ready? Good job. All right. There's three. Defensive stances, square, left foot dominant, and right foot dominant. So have, has anyone ever tried to like force someone to go one way? All right. So you have to pick kind of a lead foot, right? If I was to try to make you go that way, I would be in what stance would I call this? Right foot dominant, whichever one's in front. So let's all do right foot dominant when we get to the blue. So on the first whistle, you still kind of run the same way. But then when you break down, you kind of turn sideways a little bit. And then on the second whistle, instead of backpedaling, we're going to kind of shuffle in that stance. Ready? Let me see that stance. Right foot. Everyone should be right foot on the line. And then shuffle to your left. Okay, when we shuffle, I don't want to hear your he uh, I don't want to hear your heels click. 
No good. I want to keep my feet underneath my hips. And I saw a lot of you, which I know it's challenging. Look this way. All right. You got to try to keep your eyes upfield. All right. Right foot stance again. First whistle is the breakdown. Second whistle is the shuffle away. Turn more sideways. So I'm going to come and check your balance. I should be able to push your right fist and you shouldn't really move too much. Okay, if that right foot drops steps, that means when someone runs into you, it's okay that you're a lefty, you're still focused on that right fist. Yep. Yep. Push in against me a little bit. Imagine this is someone running into you. Push against me a little bit. Yep, good. On the next whistle, shuffle. Good, I still see everyone looking away. On that second whistle, you gotta keep your head and eyes up. Ready? Head up, head up. Okay, this time, as you're shuffling away, I'm gonna hold up a number. You gotta say it as you're shuffling, ready? Good, last one for right side, ready? Good job. Okay, we're gonna do left foot stance. Anyone still cold? We good? Ready, left foot. Now I'm gonna come test your left fist. Push against that a little bit. If someone ran into you, would you fall over? All right, you wanna be strong through that forward. Yeah, don't try to hold your position. Don't let me move you. So hold this oh, position. Okay. Yeah, like push against me, push against me. Yeah, there you go. All right, turn, face me a little bit more to, with your toes as well. Yep, and then turn this fist a little bit more here. All right, good. Yep, yep. Raise this up a little bit. Use your whole stick. Yep. Yep. Push against that. Yep. Uh, bend this elbow a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Try again. Yep. Better. Uh, use your whole stick. Yep. All the way down. Yep. Not bad. Not bad. Use your whole stick. Slide that all the way down. Yep. Yep. All right. On the whistle, you're shuffling to your right, but you're keeping your head up. Ready? Yes. All right, a little bit faster this time. Ready? Break down. You're trying to force someone to go that way right now. Shuffle away. Good. Nice. Two more. Last one. See the hand. Okay, not bad. Some of you guys looking away. That's okay. Okay, back to those two lines. So check this out. One girl, first girl in line, get to that feeding cone. One girl, get to the feeding cone. With the ball, yep. And then coaches, don't. I don't need you there anymore. I need another girl in line to stand where the coaches just were. So now there's three rolls. Okay, three rolls. We'll walk through this. All right, a little closer. A little closer. Okay. First girl in line. V cut to attempted catch. Go. Okay, good. Freeze here. Yep, great. Get that ball. Yep, hurry up. Girl that just fed. So now the girl that was just on defense. Hop in the back of the line. Girl that was just feeding. Approach and break down. Go. Approach and break down to her. To her. Yep, you should be carrying to the feeding cone. Carry to the feeding cone. Here we go. Next girl. Good, now there's three rolls. Approach and break down. Good. Nice catch. Nice job. Now we're working. Yep. It's 640 right now. Let's go. Come on. I want to play. Coach, could you help me out with those nets? Yep. I only need two. Come on. You got to break down faster than that. You got to work hard on that approach. Work hard on that approach. Oh, 
Good. Good. <laughs> Good. Okay, so do we understand the flow of the drill? A little too close. Okay. I want you all to experiment with, maybe you felt in that drill, that left foot stance or right foot stance was probably a little more comfortable for you. So I want you to figure out which stance is more comfortable for you. So now when you do your approach and your breakdown, pick a lead foot and figure out which stance you like better. Ready, set, go. Let's go, keep working, keep working. All right. All right, so coaches, you're gonna come back to this one in later practices, right? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Hey girls, any questions with this? No. Comments? Is this is this okay? Everyone, everyone feel good about this? So let's do a quick ball and cone hunt and we're gonna play for the rest of practice. All right, ball hunt, cone hunt, and we're gonna play. Here we go. Thank you, sir. All right. All right, and then I just need two cones. That's it. I got two. Is that two? Yeah. Thank you, sir. So can you put one directly in front of this goal at the white line on both nets? And then I need two tennis balls. Two tennis balls. So girls, all the lacrosse balls can go in the bag. Coach is going to grab us two tennis balls, and we're going to play. Tennis balls? Yep, you got it. Just one cone, center of the field. Yep, there you go. All right. Thank you. All right, girls, bring it up midfield. Jog it in, jog it in. All right, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to do two different games to start, and then we'll combine for a full field game. So when we do these two games, so girls, just take a look. We got these mini mini nets. All right, it might look like that's a small goal. Well, that's because it is. Okay, I want it to be kind of hard to score. One of the reasons that we're going to play with a tennis ball is a to protect the goalie. Everybody's a goalie. Okay, everybody's an offense, everybody's a defense. This is an all position, no position game. So when you play goalie, it's gonna be okay if you get hit, I promise, all right? We also use a tennis ball because it's lighter. It's harder to control. It's going to increase the rate of development. It's gonna make it harder to catch, harder to cradle, but when you switch back to a lacrosse ball, you're gonna be a better player, all right? When you're on offense, okay, and the defense gets the ball, can they shoot right away? It's a half field game. No, right? What do they have to do first? Nope. Get it to the, what we'll call the clearing cone, okay? When the defense gets it to the clearing cone, they're now on offense. And if I was just on offense, one of us has to hop in and goalie, okay? So I'm gonna have a three on three game happening here and a two-on-two -two game happening here. All right, let's get girls with three or more years of experience. Come step over here to my right. Wait, three or more years. How many years have you been playing lacrosse? <laughs> Six, three, two, yeah, two. That's okay. Okay, that's perfect. So that'll be our two-on-two -two right there. This will be our three-on-three -three right here. I see uh, three blue pennies on one team. You guys kind of match. It's okay that you're wearing blue. I think we can figure this out, right? There you go. Whatever you want to do there. Yep. You can leave the blue sweatshirt on if you want. I think that's your teammate. You, can you figure that out? All right. You guys ready? Play. You guys ready? Uh, let's go blue versus not blue. Okay. All right. Hey, rock, paper, scissors for ball first. Or you guys just go. All right.
Let's go, play fast, play fast. Not a lot of time left in practice. Good, if they're not gonna play someone in net, just go shoot. Good. Hey, remember, remember, we want one defender in goal. Good, play fast, play fast. You can always step out. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Goal, oh, that was a goal. And then if you get scored on, yep, defense gets the ball. Defense, put one goalie in. Defense, you need a goalie. Two on, it should be a two-on-one over here. Yeah, there you go. One goalie should be a three-on-two over here. Watch those sticks, girls. Play fast, play fast. There you go. Good, if no one covers you, go shoot. If no one covers you, go shoot. Yep. Nice. Yep. Hey, come on, switch it out. Fast, fast, fast. Come on, girls. Thirty seconds in this game. Nice shot. Ten, nine, eight. If no one covers, you go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, great job. All right, girls, bring it up real quick. We're not done playing. That's just one game. We're going to keep playing for our last 10 minutes here. So some things to think about. Do I have any lefties? Okay, one or two, maybe. So a lot of righties. Let me see that. Let me see that ball. Yeah, same. Well, opposite. I'm a left. I'm a righty, but I play lefty. Are you the opposite? Yeah, I'm a lefty. Yeah. So where the ball is in relation to the center of the field. So if you imagine there's a line that goes right through the middle of the cage here, girls, right to the clearing cone, where the ball is in relation to that line really matters. So why do I say that? If I'm a righty on this area of the field, do you see how this isn't that great of a shot? Because my stick is way far from that center line. So I, I could go lefty, that would help. Or I could do something called a face cradle and I could do a backhander, okay? That's actually an, a, a fundamentally smart play. It's not about looking cool. It's to give me a better angle. Does that make sense, girls? Or if you've got this in your game, if I'm a lefty over on this side of the field, instead of shooting this lefty, I could shoot it behind my back. Do you see how that leaves my stick closer to the center line of the field? All right. So I understand this is like a silly little game, but this is a place to get creative and have fun and maybe try things that you wouldn't normally try. Okay. We're going to play the same exact game for two minutes. Ready, set, go. Backwards would be so you're a lefty or a righty. All right. So do so so face cradle, yep, and then you would chuck it to your right like that. Boom. That's a backhander. Uh, how would you go? Oh, oh, behind oh. the back. Yep. Oh. Ninety seconds. Ninety seconds. Run, hustle, Anne Marie, hustle, run, run. Oh my God! 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 Oh
They're tired. <laughs> One minute! Don't take much. Yeah. yeah. You should have seen how you <laughs> were they get were they getting tired? The first three quarters they just did not win. Oh boy. We got murdered. Yeah. Nine to two. The last oh, quarter okay. I was like, girl, because I, I bring like hot chocolate and snacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Girls, you get absolutely nothing <laughs> if I don't see you moving. Yep. I'm like, you move. Nice. If I tell you to run, you run. Yeah, right. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Okay, let me get uh, those two blue jerseys with these three blue. You guys go on that half, and then can you switch? No, not you. Can you switch your yeah. to something not blue? All right, so girls, we're going to play full field now. Five on five, full field. Alright, we just need one ball. Alright girls. Here we go. Five on five, full field. So you still have a goalie, okay? So really it's five on four. Alright? Good? No, no, no. Look, look at the look at the field I just made, girls. Same mini cages. Okay, here we go. Full field. I can see why you'd think that. Fair enough. Nope, nope. And and if you're playing offense, you can just go play offense. You know what I mean? Hey, girls, if you're playing goalie, okay, and your team's on offense, I don't want you to stay in the net. I want you to go up and play offense. And then whoever, just do it this way. Whoever is the highest up when the ball goes from you to them, the first person back, basically, you should be the goalie. Does that make sense? All right, but now I want to see you guys push it up and down the field a little bit. Ready? Yours. Play. There's no out of bounds. There's no out of bounds. Play. Everybody, two push-ups. But why, coach? From now on, anytime we scoop one-handed, we're gonna do push-ups. Two push-ups. Oh. Okay. Secondly, if the ball rolls away from this kind of field, just let just let her get it. Okay. I don't want to see ground ball battles way behind the cage. Ready, set, play. Run hard. You're either gonna pass or shoot. Make a decision. Pass or shoot. Make a decision. There we go. I was gonna say, I was like, wait a minute. Starting to look like the cross a little bit. <laughs> Not this year, coach. Thank you. Not this year. Ah, oh, two push ups. I saw two push ups. Two push ups. All of you. We're a team. Right, coach? All right, so let's see what happens here, ready? All right, hold up, I'm gonna add a rule. New rule. <laughs> you can only have the ball on your stick for a full three seconds. So the moment you scoop it or catch it, you have that long, okay? Girls, you're only gonna do one of two things. You're gonna pass or shoot. I just wanna see you make your decision a little bit quicker. But I also want to see you try to get open for your teammates. Okay, we want to mix in a V cut every here and there. Ready, set. Good, don't rush it. Three seconds is longer than you think. Uh, 
So once once they figure this rule out, mm -hmm. it'll start to look a lot different. You know? But it's like, this is the first time we're playing this game. I highly suggest we keep playing this. Right. And it's like, once they can catch and throw a little bit easier with the tennis ball, cradle a little bit easier with tennis ball, then you add this rule in. I wouldn't play with this rule the whole time. Right. You just mix it in. Mm -hmm. I don't think you have this problem. Bend Some, your knees, Kelsey! Sometimes teams will have one or two, maybe you know this, players that are like, like at club and like super yeah. way advanced mm -hmm. and they're the ones that like dominate time of possession. So the three second rule is helpful for players like that. Yeah. A simpler rule sometimes is to just say you can only make two moves. Okay. So if you get the ball and you split and then you roll back and then you split again, turnover. Right. Yeah. After yeah, two it. moves, you got to get rid of we it. We only have one girl that plays 12. Yeah. Yep. And then the other rule that you want to add in, um, not I would I'll just just time wise let's not do it today, is um, assisted shots mm -hmm. are worth two. Okay. So now they know it's more valuable to catch into my shot. Right. As opposed to try to run by everyone and then get my shot, because that's what everyone does. Right. Right. And then they end up, they all end up crowded right around the goal, and it's just awkward, right? Yeah. Um, so now it's like, oh, it's more valuable to do what? Cut, mm -hmm. get open. Right. And now I can catch and shoot, which is actually an easier goal. Right. In the in reality, and now it's worth two points. Mm -hmm. So they're gonna try to get those. Right. That's. All right. Good. Girls, great job. Bring it up. 7 p.m. Come on, hustle in. Yeah. Hustle means run. All right. So, truth be told, I would have loved to spend more time playing, um, but I'm really glad we got to spend time doing some skills, doing some stick work, doing some footwork. That defensive footwork is key. Most, honestly, no, like most coaches just don't ever teach it. Not even in youth, in high school, in college. A lot of times it's just like, hey, force them that way. And it's like, well, how? You know, and that's something that you yeah, really have to practice. And the footwork is the key. Um, and hopefully you guys got some stuff that you can use now, but practice on your own. That's my hope. If you have questions, send them through Coach, who will ask me. And um, I thank you for your time and attention. Thank all right, you. That's thank all. you. All right, what do we got? A little breakdown here? Oh, yeah. How do we say, what are we, is it Womps? Yeah. Or Womps. Womps. So it sticks up. What do we got? Someone break us down. One, two, three. Womps. Womps. Good job, girls. All right, well, you can step up to the plate there, my friend. Candy. All right. Good job, coach. Thank you. Coaches. Thank you.